Hello, hello, hello. Today is Tuesday, April 4, 2023. A few days ago, I posted Ul Heller's solution to problem 176. His solution is correct. All his answers are correct. However, there is a typo in his solutions. I should have caught it, but I didn't. Uh, someone else pointed it out to Ulf, and he feels terrible about it. Look, there is nothing to feel bad about a typo, because a typo doesn't change any of the answers. I have made typos of my problems also in the past. I sometimes, sometimes make a typo on the blackboard during my lectures. The end of the answer never changes. But I still think as a gesture to Ulf, I want to post his solutions again here without the typo. I'm not going on for every step that he made, but I showed you where he made the typo in blue here. So what we have now in blue is correct. So his answer to A is correct, of course. And this is where he made the typo. I think he had 4m square here. So we go B, 0.08. C, I'm going to make a comment on the C that he did not make. So the amplitude after four oscillations if is only about half a percent of the amplitude at t equals zero. So there's not much left. Yet omega is only half a percent lower than omega zero. As I discussed in my 803 lecture, I introduced there what is called the quality of a damped oscillation. The quality Q which right here would be omega zero times m divided by b. It's a dimensionless number. And the quality here is five. Uh, that is not a very high quality. <laughs> and that is why it decays so fast. The lower b is, so the lower the resistive force is, clearly the higher q will be. So if this number, if B is very small, then this number becomes very high, and then the quality is very high, and then the change in amplitude will not be as fast as here. All right, Ulf, your solutions were great. Thank you for that. And don't worry about the fact that you had a typo. It's only human. And since I am also human, <laughs> I make typos as well.